Oh, good morning, guys. I'm still in bed and I've been for a while. I've got a cold and I feel absolutely shattered from all that walking yesterday. I can't even begin to imagine how my dad feels right now. But yeah, we uh, we did it. Feet are sore. I'm definitely not going to be walking for a couple of days, that's for sure. Or at least going anywhere extreme. Um, but on the 6th of August, I'll be doing it again. Um, I just want to say before we get started with today's vlog, a huge, huge thank you to Vandit. Last night she tweeted me asking if uh, if I'm still broke, and I was like, unfortunately, I will be until I get a job, and then I just got on with doing my editing, and then I get a bzz bzz from my phone, and it's a very generous donation from Vandis through PayPal. Um, thank you so so much for that, and I just want to say thank you in the vlog as well because it couldn't have been a better time, like honestly it, it really does mean a lot to me because literally that day so yesterday we went when when i said in the vlog that we're going for a, to get a meal deal and stuff i went and it just wasn't accepting my card and the reason being it, it had enough in there for it it's just i didn't the it didn't have that much you know what i mean it just wouldn't let me buy that so it was crazy but yeah thankfully my dad got it and thank you dad um but yeah <laughs> like i said it couldn't come at a better time so thank you so so much for that the last thing i want to do is ask you guys and girls to you know to help me at this moment and i know that's ridiculous because what a lot of streamers do and vloggers and everything they ask you know for support via patreon or donations when they're actually in a position where they are financially fine like they ask for it then whereas like not when they need it kind of thing you know what i mean and I'm doing the exact same because I just don't, I don't feel right asking you guys for something because of my mistakes or because of me not having a job. It just doesn't feel right. Um, and that's why I haven't set up Patreon or anything yet or, you know, leave a link to a donation thing. I don't do any of that because I just don't feel right doing it. But thank you very much. Uh, nonetheless, for that very generous donation and it really does mean a lot. So, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch a few more videos in bed. <laughs> And then I'm going to get up and go get ready for the day. I have literally no plan for today. Okay, just literally just got out of the shower. Um, and a parcel has arrived and I think it's my watch. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I actually bought a watch. And before you go, what the fuck, James? You've got no money. How did you buy a watch? Pretty much this is a watch um, that I have seen actually yesterday and me and my dad were looking at it sell for 70 pounds it sold for 70 pounds now th that watch was in a lot better condition but this one is not in bad condition and i'm going to resell it during christmas and i picked it up for 18 quid yes 18 quid and i really do believe it's got a lot of resale value um and also it's going to help well for a review it's i'm not going to go into it just just go check out the watch out if you're interested if not i understand but it, it's an investment and i haven't lost money on a watch yet and you guys know this i've actually almost doubled my profit on every single watch so far so have faith in me okay guys have faith <laughs> but yeah let's um let's finish getting ready okay i'm gonna get the uh i'm all ready by the way i'm gonna get the unboxing done for that that watch and i'm gonna try and get that uploaded like recorded edited and uploaded today and then schedule the other one I've done for the for Monday, so two days from now. And I still need to upload yes, uh, yeah, yesterday's vlog for today because obviously it took two hours to render. And I didn't finish editing it until about midnight, so I've got quite a bit to get done actually. And I've just been informed Ahmed is going away um, and he won't be back till Friday. And I am allowed the camera until then, the Canon 70D. So I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to get a load of watch videos done with it. But you know what? I think I might go out and um, go go somewhere and get some actual pictures with it as well, which will be amazing um, because I love using that camera. I've used it a few times and oh my God, it's amazing. Just finished up um, the unboxing of the new watch. Quick sneak peek. There it is. Even though the video will already be out by now, but yeah, uh, I quite like it. It's very nice. But anyway, I need to get on with editing it. So let it just begin. finished editing. The video is rendering now. The vlog is uploading as we speak. I have got literally everything pretty much done for today, which is brilliant. And I'm wearing the watch. Oh, I love it. Um, but yeah, I am. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to real quickly answer a question someone asked. And they said, because in the last video, I said um, three cities I want to visit in Europe. And uh, he asked what three cities outside of Europe do I want to visit? And to be totally honest, I don't know about cities, but countries, 
I really, really obviously want to go around America, but that isn't one of them. Um, Russia. Russia is one place I really want to go. Um, Africa and, and um, like, anywhere in Africa, really. Yeah, the kids are just going crazy outside. Um, Africa and... I don't know. I want to travel all over Asia as well. I, I really, really want to. I want to go to, like, um, Singapore seems really cool. Just these... Th yeah, them sort of Asian countries, I just really want to go to. They seem really awesome. And they're really fucking cheap as well, so... I don't know, maybe in the next few years I can potentially go over there. That'll be really just updated. Just updated the uh, best of 100 video. Um, it's coming along really, really well. I'm so excited to see the final like thing and how it looks in the end. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with it, and I'm hoping you guys are gonna like it. And I'm actually gonna try and uh, get in contact with GoPro and uh, you know see see what they think of it because at the end of the day, I've done 100 daily vlogs using this GoPro and. Yeah, I've, it's just been amazing. Like, this whole journey has been amazing. It's all been shot with this GoPro. And I don't know if anyone's ever done that. I don't know if anyone's ever done 100 vlogs daily with a GoPro. I don't know. If they have, then that is awesome. But I don't think they have. I don't think anyone has. So, you know, it, it'd be cool for GoPro to maybe feature it. And I think it looks cool. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, I'm very, very excited to show you guys on sunday the 7th of august because that's when it will be uploaded but man it's been so fun it's been so so fun so, you know i said yesterday and i said this morning that i couldn't buy that sandwich um from the shop because i didn't have enough money in my account and i wondered why and i've just come on paypal had a look and i've checked my uh my amazon uh, not my amazon my banking my nationwide and i saw something that i've never saw before mbi pro biller for 26 pounds 95 and i was like what is that so i rang i rang amazon uh, not amazon nationwide sorry and i was just like yeah i, I want to cancel a direct debit for mbi pro biller i don't know what it is I, it's not my um it's not my uh gopro because that's for hitachi uh, and that's actually a direct debit. This says Visa purchase. And I got talking to him and he, he was looking at it and he's like, is there any more? I was like, I don't know. And I started scrolling down and scrolling down and scrolling down. Since the 15th of March, because I searched MBI Pro Biller and it takes you to another website as well called Epoch. And uh, they're like, they're like banking or well, not banking. They're like billing services, uh, like I don't know how to explain it. They're like a PayPal kind of thing. I don't know. I don't actually know what they are. But since the 15th of March, they've been taken out of my account monthly, multiple times a day, some cases. Look at this. I've wrote down everything. I've just got off the phone with Nationwide. Since the 15th of March up until the 29th of July, £237.38p in these formats like they're not even like 15th of march two pound 93 the same day 19 pound 38 these are epoch it says here epoch epoch and then it's all mbi pro biller so clearly they changed their fucking name or something um 24 pounds 95 on the 26th of march on the 28th of march two days later 19 pounds 41 the 4th of april 24 pounds 22 25th of april 14 pounds 74 25th of april the same fucking day 24 pounds 95 25th of april a pound mbi pro biller clearly they start off with this small payment so you don't notice 30th of april 26 pounds 95 and there's been 26 pounds 95 on a 30th or 29th since in a direct debit format under a visa purchase so what the fuck is going on that's 237 pounds and 38p since the 15th of march now i got off the phone with him um he was really really helpful we went through together and searched everything um i should be getting refunded it all soon um it can take anywhere between one working day and 10 working days and they're going to file a dispute against it and like um try and find out what's happened um but either way i should get my money back he said um i will find out they will call me and stuff and let me know uh, as soon as they have more information but by between monday and whenever 10 working days is i should get a refund um of all that so but what the fuck like how scary is that guys go through your banking accounts and check that you have nothing coming out from epoch.com and mbiprobiller.com like someone had my fucking account details or something like they had some sort of way or this website got hold of them somehow and that's fucking scary and they said if anything else comes through you have no clue about ring us up straight away because of this going on you'll be refunded uh like immediately if something like that really happens um so yeah i that's fucking scary that is really fucking scary like i never thought i'd be a victim of fraud because that's what it is isn't it or identity theft like 
fucking two hundred and thirty seven pounds and thirty eight p. And I didn't notice. How did I not notice? And he was telling me pe some people don't notice for years. Like it will go three years and they'll only just notice. And obviously, I only notice now because I'm broke. Like he says, it's very, very common for people not to notice because of the way they do it. Like they start with a little amount, you never notice it, you know. And usually, people when they're working, they have a lot of direct debits, a lot of payments anyway, and it's just a list of names and numbers, so you never really notice. And he's fucking right, I didn't notice. That's so scary, man. So scary. Make sure you've got nothing coming out from Epoch or MBI Pro Villa. Check everything. This has made me fucking learn. Check everything. I hope I get my money back, and I hope this fucking company get taken down for whatever it is or maybe it's a legitimate company and it's just someone fucking committed fraud with my details somehow I, I, don't, I don't even know i don't know but apparently this is quite common that's scary so be careful guys okay so i don't know if i said it but i should be getting the money back um in one to ten working days so between monday and the wednesday after like the wednesday after the when you get what i mean 10 working days up to 10 working days so um yeah, hopefully I'll get the money back, but it's an open investigation. At the end of the day, this website looks like it's been open for a long time. So if they do this often, then they must have a way of getting away with this sort of shit. Which makes me believe that I might not get my money back. Um, I don't know yet. I, I may just be freaking out for no reason. But what I'm going to do, they've they've like terminated all the payments. So nothing else can come through from these companies. So no matter what, I will not be charged again. And if I do, I can ring them. And because I've stated all this, they will refund me 100% for them ones after this moment. Um, the other ones I've got to wait and see. But I'm hoping, I'm positive. But either way, that means I'm not going to get charged anymore. And that means... That means I'm not going to lose out on any more money. Now, right now, as great as it'd be to get that money back, because that's a fucking lot of money, a quarter of a grand, um, I'm not too sure if I will. So the way I'm going to treat it is I'm not going to get any more charges from them. I'm just going to forget about it. I'm just going to forget about it until Nationwide either ring me or I check my bank balance and I am up £237. That's how it's going to go. Whether I get my money back or not, I'm not going to freak out because I've realised the more I focus on all the... Cause this is another negative thing. This is another negative thing. There's been a lot recently, as you guys have probably seen. And I, I keep focusing on them too much. And it's just stopping me from just opening my brain again. And just focusing on other shit. So I'm just going to literally forget about it. And I'll update you guys. If I get a phone call in the week. Or if I get my money back. That's it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna stress over it. I'm not going to stress over any of this negative shit. Who cares? Who fucking cares? I can get through this. You know... Thank you very much, um, Vandis, for that money that you sent because that's going to help out a lot right now. Um, so I'm not, I'm not in a life or death situation. I've got a roof over my head. I've got food. I've got drink. Like I am fine. I am truly fine. The only thing is financially, I'm not. But at the end of the day, that's such a small part of life, and I can fix that. It's fixable. It's not like I've got terminal illness or some shit. Like I can fix that. So that's enough of that. I've let you guys know what's happened. I've let you guys know the website and everything. So just be careful. Check every day. I've now learned. This has taught me something. And like my dad said, it may be like an underlying silver lining. I know that that's money stolen. But if I get it back, then maybe it was like the universe. And I believe in this sort of shit. Call me cheesy or whatever. But it's like the universe was is helping me now. Like I'm in a financially shit situation and all of a sudden 250 quid that I never even knew when is might be appearing again. You know, that's that's pretty good. Like sure it was stolen in the first place, but I never knew. I'd have carried on not knowing. So now I know I might get that money back and be a bit better off. So yeah. Um at the end of the day everything happens for a reason. The universe works in mysterious ways and it will test you and test you and test you. And I like to believe for a reason, because it's building up to something. You know, I recently watched Mars Bar's vlog. Those of you who don't know who he is, go check him out. He's awesome. Um, he he said, he rang his dad because he, he uh, lost his drone and stuff, and it, it was pretty fucked up. Uh, that's like £1,500, a lot worse than what I'm dealing with. But his dad said, if you... Something like if you don't fail, you know you don't know what success is. And it's so true. You've got to, you've got to reach the lows to know and appreciate the highs. It's so true. Like, a lot of shit can happen, but if it doesn't happen, you're not going to appreciate the times when nothing bad is happening. So it's made me realise, it's opened my eyes to that possibility of like, well, I can come out of this, I can be better than this, and I'll be happier than what I was before at the same position. You know, just having an income again, I'll be more appreciative of it because of the situation I'm in right now. Um, so that's it really, that's all I'm going to say on that. I'm going to probably chill for the rest of the day. Uh, I don't really have much else planned and you know what because I have literally nothing planned 
I'm getting today's vlog here. And I'm sorry about that, but yesterday's vlog was crazy long. I'm still extremely taxed from that. I, yeah, I'm just going to relax for the rest of today. Um, and just focus on getting my mind over this. I'm going to throw that out of the way because it's got all the information on. Get out of my way. So I can just focus, watch some vlogs, chill out, and um, I'm going to get this edited and then chill out. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really means a lot. Don't forget to check out my other channels, the gaming channel and the watch channel. Um, but I'll see you all again 6pm every single day. Take care. Love your faces. Goodbye.